Okay, so we've finally encountered an area where the initial amount of T-splines, the initial refinement of faces that we created doesn't quite have the fidelity to capture this shape as we want it. So first I'll select the area, and that's shift and double click so we get that full ring, and I can verify that by zooming out. Head back in here to top, and now I'll go to modify and I'll say subdivide. So first of all, it'll tell me what's selected. I have an option to make it simple or exact. So I tend to like exact, and what that's gonna do is try and maintain the existing form without shooting it way out of whack. I also, in this case, wanna hit specify. If I don't hit specify, I'm gonna get a mirrored amount of faces. So I'll get two length faces and two width faces by default, but I don't actually need quite that much. So length faces we're going to leave alone, and then we're going to get this extra subdivision just heading around one particular axis. So now I can hit OK, and this is my new line. Head over to Modify. I can squeak that one down. And it's possible that we'll have enough refinement now, so let's take a look. We'll grab this ring, modify, and squeeze that one down. It does still look like we need a little bit more in this area, but we know how to do that now. Double shift click, modify, subdivide. And then we'll just use this exact same method. So exact, specify, and then one by two. Grab this ring and modify that. So you can see here how, if I'm not careful, this can lead to me getting some really funky pinches, but that's what the model calls for in this particular case.